Hi, I'm Richard, and I help students like you to maximize their chances of getting into top universities like LSE for top programs like marketing. In fact, over the last 10 years, we've had a whopping 94% success rate with this course. That's 10 times the average acceptance rate of 9%. And today in this video, we are gonna be sharing some of those tips as to how you can stand out amongst the crowd. Now, the entry requirement for this course, like most courses, is a 2-1. Interestingly, whilst a high 2-1 or a first or international equivalent is fantastic, actually we have seen students get onto this one with the lower end of a 2-1, making it a little bit less competitive and more forgiving than the other management and certainly finance courses at LSC. The GMAT is only required if you have not done a UK undergraduate degree. But top tip number one, if you do have some quantitative experience, LSE might well consider waiving that GMAT requirements. So it's worth getting in touch with them when you put this on your application. It might save you quite a lot of headache. Now, tip number one for this course is a little bit unusual compared to my others. It is to really think hard about your references. Now, LSC typically require two academic references because it's a very academic course. But if you have two or five years work experience, you can also talk to them about having a professional reference if it's highly relevant to marketing. If you have that work experience, make sure to use it. Now, which one do you think gets looked at first? Your personal statement or the reference you get written? If you thought it was your personal statement, you might be surprised to know that you're wrong. LSE look at the reference first, meaning if you smash your reference, you are already in a good position. I would argue for this course, the reference is more important than what you write, although what you write is still very important. So how do we get the best reference? Well, firstly, pick somebody who loves you and what you have done for them at university. If you've been top of the class in their module, pick them. Even if it's not directly relevant to marketing, it's better to have a really glowing reference because the magic words that they are looking for at LSE are, I very highly recommend your name for this course and this student scored in the top 10% of their cohort, or 5% or top. That is what shows the LSE that you are one of the best of the best. Now, tip number two is rigorous interest in data. Whilst this course doesn't have the same mathematical requirements as the other management related courses, this course does fall within the management remit at LSE, it is still very important to LSE that you're interested in applying data to marketing. This course is a little bit less about creative ideas and whiteboards and brainstorming and more about how do we make sense of the inordinate amounts of data in the world. Align yourself with their values in your personal statement to help you to stand out. A particularly great uh, subsection to apply for within this course is digital marketing. If you can talk about CPAs and conversion rates and educate yourself if you don't know what these things are and talk about these sorts of metrics, you're going to look like exactly the sort of person that LSE like to have in their course. Now, tip number three is to head over to our linked video, LSE MSC Management, in which I go through another five tips on how to get into LSE's management courses. I'll talk in that video about the importance of a robust career plan, academic demonstration of what the subject actually is, a binding theme and the motivation that drives you, as well as the university research. You need to be looking at the individual courses and who lectures them, and even maybe what their professional experience is, and put all of that good stuff into your application to stand out. So if you've enjoyed this video, why not head over and check that one out next. But before you go, a couple of other options for you. Now, another tip is to look at 
all of the different options LSE has. Whilst they have just one LSE MSE marketing course, they have a whole range of other PR, public relations and media training, and also um, specialist courses for those looking to work within government or non-government organizations and charities, sort of more like media training. Uh, these courses are strategic communications, which has just a 5% acceptance rate, media and communications, which has an 8% acceptance rate, and there's a whole host of other media related courses. So if you're more interested in that side of self-promotion and promotion of a company, do make sure you're applying to the right course. If you want us to cover those sorts of videos or have any questions, please do write us in the comments below. We get back to every comment to give you the help that we can. Liking, subscribing really helps us out. And as a thanks to all of our uh, many fantastic viewers, we also have an exemplar statement written for LSE that you can sign up to in the description below. Lastly, if you want to maximize and 10x your chances with a university professional such as myself or one of my amazing network, please do get in touch using the information on the screen now. We love success stories and we love helping students like you to get in. Most importantly, good luck in your application.